those of you who have been in one of these closings before know how this works here. The rest of the people speaking on this closing did not know they were going to be speaking on this closing until a few hours ago, <laughs> nor did I. But what I did was asked around to see who were people who were making a, a real impression with what they said, whether on a panel or from the audience. People had not had a chance to speak on a bigger stage yet. And so a half dozen people are going to come up here, and each one of them knows they got six minutes to say what they want to say. The first person I'm going to call on is a student from the University of West Indies in Jamaica, Vicki Hansen. Vicki, come on up. I'd like to thank DPA for inviting Jamaica to the table, to the conversation today. I mean, it's, it's really important for us to be here, not just for Jamaica, but for the Caribbean. Um, it's given a voice, but I don't want you to hear my voice. I want you to hear the voice of the growers, the voice of those in this industry who has been criminalized. I know our Minister of Justice was given an award for creating a new framework, a new approach to drugs in Jamaica, decriminalizing five, uh, five plants, two ounces, um, removing the criminal records for persons who have been given charges for possessions of small amounts. But I think we need to go further. It's, it's, it's more than decriminalizing. It's, it's liberalizing, it's giving social justice. I mean, you still have, even this week, there was a young lady who was given 12 months in prison for trying to export one pound of ganja cannabis because she wanted to pay her school expenses. She now has to serve time in prison just for one pound. I mean, we need to change the framework to stop the harm to that young lady who is just trying to build a better life for herself. Uh, the issue of reparation and social justice came up in our session and I, I, I raised the issue of access to land, access to capital, because we're talking about persons who engage in growing cannabis, in growing an illegal plant because they want to survive and they're criminalized, they're seen as drug traffickers because of just trying to survive. And we need to change that discourse. We, we have a placard that says, Stop the Harm, United Nations and Members. We need to raise our voices here in, in this conference and go home and raise that pressure on our various governments to change the entire approach. The reform doesn't stop here. It has to go further. It has to go further to protect the lives of the growers. The growers, for me, in Jamaica, they are important because it's not just about growing for wealth, it's growing to support your community, to support your family. You talk about persons who are being criminalized and put in jail and leave their children behind. So we need to change that discourse. And I want us to really pause it to leave here, to go home and change the way we look at persons who are involved in planting drugs, as they call it, planting can. For me, it's a herb. Rastaman's a herb. Herb. And let us, truly, let us truly stop the harm. Let us be genuine in our approach to stop the harm, not just for ourselves, but for our community. And what you do here in your various states, I was a proud to be a part of Lobby Day because what happens here in the United States impact us in the Caribbean and you need to recognize your importance in that space and challenge your government to go to Ungas to make serious change and truly stop the harm and ref reform drug policy. Thank you. Thank you.